form. All right, I'm going to show you the basics of how to create a Vokey. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Vokey.com, V-O-K-I.com. When you get to this main page, um, you are not going to log in or create an account or anything like that. You're just going to do the Try It, It's Free version. So click on the orange button that says Try It, It's Free. And then it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. Um, when you um, when the file loads, you will see that you have several different options for characters. Keep in mind that your character needs to be school appropriate. Most of them are, but there are some that you could possibly choose that maybe um, if you change them in a certain way would no longer be appropriate. So make sure that you're keeping that in mind while you're working. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is choose your character. So if you click on this little person here, it's going to give you a bunch of different options for people. So right now I'm in the all category, so it would have like a bunch of different things, a bunch of different options. But I could also click over here is female options. Here are male options. In addition to that, I can change up here Right now it's only monsters, so I can switch it so now it's smiles. Or I can click through the arrow and here's fantasy, folk. So you can see there's all different kinds of options that you can choose from. If you see one with a little graduation cap on it like these, these little black graduation caps, do not select those options those ones are not free you have to use the paid version in order to use those so when you go to finish your project you won't be able to send it or share it or anything like that unless you have a free one so I am going to click on or select an option I'll do a historic option and I'll do this one so I select it and it loads right here. The next thing I'm gonna do, you'll see since I chose this one, different options showed up next to my person. So if I click on this one, I can choose the hair. So here he's bald, here he has hair. Down here I can choose the color of um, different features on him, like his mouth, I just made his mouth really red. I could even make it blue. I can make it whatever color I want. Same thing with his eyes. I can make his eyes whatever color I wanted to. His skin color I can change. You can make him really strange or you can make him really realistic. And his hair color you can also change. Once you have those, um, there's also option, here I have an option for a mouth, so I can change the mouth, but it only has one option. Some of them will have several options. I can change the clothing, if I click here, depending on which character you choose, there'll be more or less options for your character. And then this one also has option for bling, so I can put glasses on or no glasses. And then once you have all those selected, you can choose done. Um, before I do, I'll also show you this button that says tweak. If you click on that, you can change the size of like, this is changing the size of his mouth. This changes his nose. His body. change how tall or short he is so you can play around with those to change different features about your character as well once you're done you press done here 
and then you are going to give it a voice. So to give it a voice, you're going to click on this one that says text to speech. So you're going to be typing what you want to say. You need to tell one thing that you learned in tech class, this encore, and one thing that you enjoyed in tech class. So you could write something like, I learned how to edit pictures. I liked creating the how-to videos. So whatever it is, one thing that you learned, one thing that you liked, make sure you spell it correctly. And then you can press play to hear how it sounds. Learn how to edit pictures. I liked creating the how-to videos. If you want to change, you can change the different accents and you can change the voice, but you need to choose something that we can understand. So it can't be anything that's just um, saying like gibberish or something. It has to be something that we can actually understand what it's saying. I learned how to edit pictures. I liked creating the how-to videos. When you finish that, you press done again. And then um, you can choose a background if you'd like to change what the background scene is. So again, you can choose all of these different options. And then once you select one, you press done. And then when you have everything the way you like it, you're sure it says everything you want, it's time to publish. You're gonna press the publish button. Um, you can call it something, whatever you want. Press save. And while it's loading, I'll say, you are going to email this to me. So make sure that you um, know my, e or you have my email address handy. If you need to go into your email account to check what my email address is, you can do that. It's gonna ask you to create an account. You can say, no, thanks. And then you are going to either choose the link and copy that and send it to me or you can just email it directly. If you press this one that looks like an envelope, it says email, put in your name, your own email address, and then you have to write my email address here. So my teaching email address. And in the subject line, you don't have to put anything because it's already there for you. You have to put something in the message, otherwise it won't send. So you can just write like hi or something like that. Anything so that I know it's, um, or anything so that it fills in that space. If you want to put your name there, that'd be a good place to make sure that I have your name. Although you write it up here, so it should show up. But I've had a couple that came through and didn't have a name. Anyways, once you're done with that, you'll press send and it should send to me and then you can work on your other options.